Welcome, dear viewers, to our channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all our content. Today, we delve into a royal controversy that's been making headlines. The bitter clash between Meghan Markle and Jeremy Clarkson. A storm has been brewing in the royal teacup, with titillating tales of tiffs and tirades. On one side of the ring, we have Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, an American actress turned British royalty, known for her charm, grace and philanthropy. On the other side, we have Jeremy Clarkson, a British television presenter and journalist, known for his sharp wit, outspoken nature and, unfortunately, his often controversial remarks. The latest bone of contention? A baby shower? Yes, you heard it right. Meghan's decision to host a baby shower in New York prior to the birth of her son Archie has irked Clarkson to no end. He's taken to his platform, not for the first time, to launch a scathing attack on the Duchess, labelling her actions as a stupid, unroyal thing to do. Such dismissive comments are not just a blatant disrespect of Meghan's personal choices and traditions, but also reveal a disturbing pattern of disdain for the Duchess. Adding fuel to the fire... Clarkson has also targeted Meghan's private jet usage, painting her as a hypocrite. But isn't it ironic, considering his own well-documented love of extravagant travel? We can't help but question whether his criticism is truly about the carbon footprint, or if it's a thinly-veiled attempt to tarnish Meghan's reputation. What we see here is a prominent media figure, who should ideally be using his platform to uplift and celebrate women, engaging in biased attacks and attempts to undermine and discredit Meghan. It begs the question, what could possibly prompt such a blatant display of disrespect from Jeremy Clarkson? Join us as we dive deeper into this controversy, dissecting Jeremy's comments, investigating his hypocrisy and exploring the misuse of his platform. Stay tuned as we seek to get to the heart of this royal ruckus. What could possibly prompt such a blatant display of disrespect from Jeremy Clarkson? Let's dive deeper. Jeremy's recent comments about Meghan's baby shower reveal more than just his disdain for the Duchess. Let's take a moment to unpack these remarks. At first glance, the comments seem like a simple critique of Meghan's decisions, but look a little deeper. And there's a whole world of disrespect and disregard for the Duchess's personal traditions and choices. Jeremy Clarkson, the former Top Gear host, has a long history of making controversial statements, and his recent tirade against Meghan Markle is no exception. He criticised her for hosting a baby shower in New York, dismissing it as a stupid, unroyal thing to do. This statement, however, is not just a comment on the baby shower itself, but a blatant disregard for Meghan's personal choices and traditions. The baby shower a common tradition in many parts of the world, including Meghan's home country, the United States, is just one way that she chose to celebrate the impending birth of her son. By dismissing this tradition, Clarkson is not only disrespecting Meghan, but also countless other women who choose to celebrate their pregnancies in this way. But it doesn't stop there. Clarkson also targeted Meghan's use of private jets, labelling her as a hypocrite. But when we reflect on Clarkson's own well-documented love of jet-setting and extravagant travel, his criticism seems rather hollow. It's a classic case of the pot calling the kettle black. It's clear that these comments are not just harmless banter or casual critique. They are a direct attack on the Duchess, her choices and her traditions. They bear the mark of disrespect, disregard and a clear bias against Meghan. But is there more to his criticism than what meets the eye? Could it be a reflection of his own prejudices? As we delve deeper into Jeremy Clarkson's comments, we find that they may reveal more about his own biases and prejudices than they do about the Duchess of Sussex. Jeremy Clarkson, a man well known for his extravagant travel, criticises Meghan's private jet usage. Isn't that hypocrisy in plain sight? Let's take a moment to dive into that. Clarkson, a man who has made a career out of high-speed cars and jet-setting around the globe, is now taking issue with Meghan Markle's mode of transportation. This is the same man who has been known to charter private jets for his own personal trips, yet he finds it fitting to criticise Meghan for doing the same. Of course, it's not just about the travel, it's about the lifestyle. 
Clarkson, who has long enjoyed a lifestyle of luxury and opulence, seems to be singling out Meghan for doing the same. But why should Meghan, a woman who has worked hard to achieve her own success, be denied the same privileges? Isn't it quite ironical that Clarkson, a man of privilege himself, takes issue with Meghan's lifestyle? Let's not forget, Clarkson has built his entire career on a penchant for the extravagant. Whether it's driving luxury cars on top gear or jetting off to exotic locations for the Grand Tour, Clarkson has made a name for himself through his unapologetic embrace of the high life. Yet when Meghan Markle, a woman of colour, chooses to live a similar lifestyle, he cries foul. It's clear that Clarkson's attempt to paint Meghan as a hypocrite is nothing more than a smokescreen a way to detract from his own excesses and project them onto someone else. But we see through it. We see the hypocrisy that lies beneath his words. He's not calling out Meghan because he believes in modesty or frugality. No, he's calling her out because she's a woman of colour who has the audacity to live her life on her own terms. And that, my friends, is the real hypocrisy here. It's clear that Jeremy's attempts to discredit Meghan are filled with bias and prejudice. It's time we stop letting him hide behind his own hypocrisy and hold him accountable for his words and actions. Jeremy Clarkson, a prominent figure in the media, has a platform that reaches millions. But is he using it responsibly? Here we find ourselves at the heart of the matter. A man of Clarkson's stature, with a voice that resonates across continents, has a responsibility to use his influence wisely. He could use his platform to uplift, to inspire, to foster understanding, or to challenge the status quo in a respectful and meaningful way. But it appears that he's chosen a different path. Instead of celebrating women, or at the very least respecting their choices, Clarkson seems to revel in tearing them down. He uses his platform not as a beacon of enlightenment, but as a bully pulpit, spouting off vitriol like an ill-tempered schoolyard tormentor. Let's consider the weight of influence that comes with a platform like Clarkson's. When he speaks, his words ripple across the globe, reaching not just his fans, but also those who may be vulnerable to his prejudiced viewpoints. His words have the power to shape perceptions and sway opinions. It's a power that comes with a profound responsibility, a responsibility he seems to disregard with his cavalier and biased attacks. We must question the motivations behind his vitriolic outbursts. Is it merely for shock value, to stir controversy, and keep his name in the headlines, or does it stem from something more sinister, a deep-seated prejudice that he's all too willing to parade before his audience? This is not about stifling free speech or differing opinions. It's about the misuse of a platform by a person of influence. It's about the propagation of harmful biases under the guise of opinion. It's about the insidious way in which these biased views can creep into our collective consciousness, normalizing disrespect and prejudice. Jeremy's vitriol towards Meghan seems to be fueled by deep-seated prejudices. His behaviour is completely unacceptable. When we allow such behaviour to go unchallenged, we tacitly condone it. And that is something we cannot and should not do. Jeremy Clarkson's attack on Meghan Markle is not just an attack on a single person, but an attack on all women, and particularly women of colour. We must remember that this isn't just about one woman's struggle against prejudice. It's about every woman who has ever been belittled, dismissed or attacked because of her gender or the colour of her skin. It's about every person who has ever been targeted by those who wield power irresponsibly. It's about the society we live in, the values we uphold and the world we want to create for our children. We must not allow the likes of Jeremy Clarkson to shape our narrative or define our values. His words are not just offensive, they are dangerous. They perpetuate harmful stereotypes and reinforce systemic racism and sexism. They normalize bigotry and make it acceptable to attack and belittle individuals based on their personal choices, race or gender. This isn't just about standing up for Meghan Markle. It's about standing up for what's right. It's about standing up against bigotry, against misogyny, against racism. It's about standing up for respect, for dignity, for equality. It's about standing up for each other. In a world where the voices of hate are often the loudest, it's essential that we raise ours in condemnation of such behavior. We must not remain silent. 
We must not let this pass without comment. We must call out bigotry when we see it, challenge it, and fight it at every turn. Every time we let such behavior slide, we become complicit in it. Every time we fail to stand up against prejudice, we let the bullies win. But we can change this. We can stand up, speak out, and make a difference. We can create a world where respect and equality are not just ideals, but realities. Thank you for joining us today, dear viewers. Remember to subscribe and share your thoughts on the issue. Together, we can make a difference.